Good afternoon, D and D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, rolling for bread. It's a four pumpernickel. Pulled a few slices out of the freezer and toasted them up. Ready to see what's next. All right, roll for the main course. One spam. My initial worry with spam was having to open an entire can and not using it, but I found these singles at my local grocery store. My mom used to make us spam when I was a kid, but I haven't really eaten it since then. I remember it being very salty. She would grill it up and serve it like hamburgers sometimes, or just like this on a sandwich. I'm attempting to shave it into some thinner slices here so that I can spread it out on the bread, which had varying degrees of success. This was not exactly a high choice protein for me, but I could see it going okay depending on what else we roll. All right, next up, roll for cheese. Four, pepper jack. All right, so far this is a best case scenario. The spiciness should go nice with the salt and maybe distract from the spamminess. All right, next up, roughage. Seven, jalapenos. All right, well, jalapenos and pepper jack, that's great. Just keep this tangy, spicy flavor train a rolling. I will be honestly surprised if the flavor of the Spam really comes through at all in this sandwich. Next up, roll on the other table. Two, salt and pepper. All right, fine. Well, putting salt on Spam is like pouring a bottle of water into Lake Michigan, but it is what it is. So far, so good, but it could all change with the D20 socks roll. I've got my daughter helping me out today. And 13, she rolled hummus. All right, well, this really is best case scenario for Spam. You know, it's maybe not the most traditional Spam sandwich, but... I think these flavors will go well. In the hummus, you've got tanginess from the lemon and the garlic and the tahini, which will go nice with the brine of the jalapenos and really should cover up the Spam completely. With Spam as a base, I couldn't hope for a better combination here. Slicing it up and let's check out that cross section. It's got some nice color and honestly not a bad looking Sammy. Well, let's give it a taste. Oh yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I can't really taste the Spam. It's just kind of a underlying saltiness, but really everything I said before holds up. Don't really have any sweet flavors or any flavors that are causing any sort of conflict. So overall, it's a pretty cohesive sandwich. I'm a bumblebee. I'm a bumblebee that likes to eat KFC. Well, there you have it. It's the last bite. I was a little bit worried when I rolled Spam originally, but this turned out to be a pretty good sandwich. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And today, I want to know what's your favorite sandwich. Leave it in the comments. See you later.